Hello again. Hi, this is Mike. So thought I'd just uh, give you a little preview of my meter collection here. Uh, these are, this is a collection of watt hour meters from around 1893 all the way up through about the 1940s. The earliest one I have here made in 1893 is a Westing, is a Westinghouse round type. This was the first type of meter they came out with that Westinghouse came out with with the with the round glass cover. The next ones are I don't have a Westinghouse type A in the collection. I do have a type B. This is the Westinghouse type B. Then I have others that are by by Duncan Electric. This is a Duncan Electric with the kind of an odd shaped inverted D shaped damper magnet. Next is the General Electric Type I-10. This was a uh, a low cost meter for like apartments, flats, um, just small residents. This is a 10 amp meter with just three pointers. Next is a General Electric Type I. This meter was made between 1903 and 1906. This particular one is a 10 amp and it's in excellent condition. It runs very well. This is a General Electric Type I-16. Westinghouse Type OC. This is a General Electric Type IM-14. This has a, has a demand register. This is another older Westinghouse. This is a Westinghouse Type C. Then we have one of the Fort Wayne Electric. These, this type of meter, this is a type K4. This had a, a cylinder type load wheel. They call it a cup type load wheel. It's uh, kind of visible inside the meter. This one is a Sangamo type H. And then these are the Westinghouse meters that came after the type or the Westinghouse type OA. This is an OB. These are very small meters. I don't know why they went. I guess it was a space saver model or something. This is the OB demand meter. Next is a Sangamo polyphase two stator watt hour meter in a metal case. Down on the floor, because I don't have no more space, <laughs> are two General Electric polyphase watt hour meters. The one on the right is a Model D7 in a glass with the glass cover. The next one is a Model D6 with the metal cover. This is a Model D14, 240 volt. This is a 50 cycle meter. Now this is the monster meter, if I can get all of it in there. This is a General Electric DM15. I will be featuring this meter in operation whenever I can get it set up. It's, like I said, this meter is quite large and it's very heavy. Down here is a Sangamo polyphase watt, two satter watt hour meter. This is like the previous one with the metal case, except this one has a glass case, or a glass cover. Alright, up the wall here is a General Electric IM16 watt hour meter with a, with a demand register. Then we have a Westinghouse 
type OB polyphase watt hour meter. This is a two stator meter. And it has an interesting register. It's got, I don't know why it was uh, colored red over the register. I haven't read up on, on that yet, so. All right, this is a 50 amp model or Westinghouse type OA. This came after the, the type C watt hour meter. Way up here on the wall is a Sangamo type H. This was their first series of type H. This is another Duncan electric. This one has a, this is the studless type. It doesn't have the two, the two screws that hold on, or the two nuts, wing nuts that hold on the glass cover. This one just locks in with a bayonet type of connection. Now this meter, this is another Duncan. This is a Duncan type M2. This one again has the inverted D-shaped damper magnet. This magnet is, is coated black. This is a very nice meter. I do have others that are here in the house. They're all over the place. These are, these are old voltmeters, old telephones. <coughs> That's a Westinghouse polyphase type. This is a Westinghouse single phase watt hour meter for switchboard use. General Electric voltmeter. Over here is a collection of Westinghouse type OB, and there's one OC in there. This OB is the first type of socket meter that was invented by Westinghouse. And all the way over here are another, co another collection of different watt hour meters, another GEI 10, GE type I's. Now these are Russian, little Russian watt hour meters. I thought they were kind of interesting, so I, I purchased a few of them. This is another, another Westinghouse type, type OB polyphase. Now this meter here is a General Electric type C6. This is a direct current watt hour meter. This is a large, very heavy General Electric type D3 polyphase. This meter is very heavy. It weighs about 30 pounds. And this is another another little uh, Westinghouse type OB socket type. It has the plugs or the pins in the back that plug into the socket. Interesting design. Another GE voltmeter. This little bitty meter right here is a a little thermal demand meter. By General Electric, made by General Electric. Very small. It does work. Very light. Anyway, that's a summation of some of my meter collection. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you.